dear students the topic for today's class is about free space management so we'll be discussing about the techniques uh, which you uh, which help the operating system uh, to collect all the free space which is available on the disk uh, after allocation of blocks to files and directories or the if the files is being deleted then also the free space will be left that free space is uh, added to the free space list all right so to keep track of the free disk space the system maintains a free space list the free space list records all the free disk blocks that means those blocks onto the direct uh, onto the disk structure which are not allocated to any of the file or directory to create a file we search for the free space list for the required amount of space and allocate that space to new file this space is then removed from free space list mane ki ek free space list is a list which is having the free space either to that free space is not allocated to any of the files right or when a file is deleted its disk space is also added to the free space list so when a file is deleted then also the free space will be created and that space will be added to the free space list so there are basically four techniques which can be used to implement the free space management how the operating system will manage these free spaces on the disk available first is bit vector या इसको बिट मैप भी बोलते हैं ईच ब्लॉक इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय वन बिट इफ द ब्लॉक इज फ्री द बिट इज वन इफ द ब्लॉक इज एलोकेटेड दिन द बिट इज जीरो राइट सो टू रिप्रेजेंट द ब्लॉक्स वी आर यूजिंग बिट सो इफ द बिट इज सेट दैट मीन्स इट्स इक्वल टू वन देन द ब्लॉक इज फ्री इट इज नॉट बींग एलोकेटेड एंड इफ द बिट इज सेट टू जीरो then the block is allocated so for an example we have these 10 blocks on a disk and these are the addresses 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so the blocks which have zero as the bit are the blocks which are allocated so for the given bit map or a bit vector the block number 0 2 4 7 and 9 are allocated blocks that means they are in use whereas block number 1 block number 3 block number 5 6 and 8 are the free blocks all right the advantage of this technique is that it is the simplest one to implement and it is also efficient in finding the free blocks right the first free blocks find karna is easy and uh, or even the consecutive free blocks on the disk because these are very easily represented by bit so the bits which are set to 1 they represent the free blocks so you can easily identify which blocks are free on the disk so it is simple to implement and the finding the free blocks is easy the disadvantage is that this entire bit vector right it will need to be stored into the main memory okay then only this bit vector technique will be able to work for managing the free space so it has to be stored into the main memory so it is possible if the size of the disk is small then the bit vector will be small because the number of blocks on the disk will be small because disk size is small so the bit vector is a small it can be stored in main memory but as the disk size will increase the bit vector size is also increase so the bit vector size will also increase that will lead to difficulty in storing into the main memory so if you talk about 1 tb or 1 petabytes or more than that then there will be difficulty because it will take amount same amount of time uh, same amount of space to store the bit vector into the main memory and you know the main memory size is limited right so this is the advantage and disadvantage of the bit vector the bit map technique the next technique we will have a look over is about the uh, linked alloc uh, linked technique so now we are here with the second approach which is the linked technique that is linked list is used over here another approach to free space management is to link together all the free disk blocks keeping a pointer to the first free block in a special location on disk and caching it in main memory so what happens is suppose this is your hard disk and these are the blocks right so the free blocks contain a pointer so the first block it is the header node right so in linked list which uh, you have a concept of header node so the first block is the list head it contains the pointer to the next free block that is over here one is referring to two two points to the next free blocks so on 
right? So the free blocks available in this uh, disk approach is 1, 2, 5, 7, 9 and 12. So these are the free blocks available in totality they are 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sorry. Right. So this is the concept in case of linked list. As in linked list, we have pointers. Uh, one uh, element points to the next node. Similarly, over here we have the first block as the head element, which stores the pointer to the next free block. That next free block contains the pointer to the next free block in the row. Right. The address of the next free block. So this is the concept of linked list. We will see what are the advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that there is no wastage of space. All right. So any free blocks anywhere located can be easily uh, linked using the pointers. So there will not be any wastage of space. But the disadvantage is that the pointers which are used to refer to the next free block address also needs the space into the main memory. Right. So this will also take some space. And secondly, it is not efficient. The reason being because you will have to traverse the list completely. You will be reading each of the block okay and that will take io time if you want to access this block 12 to allocate this block then you will be traversing from the head point one then go to two then five then seven then nine and then twelve all right so the time which is required to traverse the list that will be higher all right so it is not very efficient technique then we have a grouping technique it stores the address of n minus 1 free blocks in the first free block. So as in linked list, we have pointers from one block to the next free block. Here what we are having is uh, that there is only first block and it contains the link to all the other free blocks. Advantage, the addresses of large number of free blocks can now be found quickly unlike the situation when a standard approach was used. So it is easy because the one will be connected to two, one will be connected to five, one will be connected to seven, one will be connected to nine, one will be connected to twelve. So in case of grouping, we have first block that is your head element and it connects the link to all other free blocks. Okay, so the advantage is that it is better than the standard approach of linked list you can store large number of free blocks and they can be found easily then there is another approach which is a counting one so it is a modification of the linked list approach only in addition to the next free block pointer that means uh, we were pointing to the next free block elements they also maintain a variable count okay so that count variable actually tells how many blocks are contagiously free so if suppose one is pointing to the two then along with this pointer field of the next free block it will also contain a count variable which will tell how many blocks are free continuously after that so one two three four so there are four blocks free after two so one will point to the second block and also it stores the count value how many blocks are free after two it is four so this is the modification over the standard approach so we have seen the four techniques of free space management which is used by operating system to efficiently utilize the disk uh, by uh, by maintaining the free space list so whatever data blocks the disk blocks are not allocated to any files and also when a file is being deleted then the free space will be created so the free space will be added to the free space list as soon as a file have to be created then the free space list uh, will also be updated again because now the free space will be removed decreased right because you have taken some space right because few blocks will be allocated to the new file so that free space list will now have those many blocks as filled so they are not free right now so this was the concept of free space management thank you